Hey guys, so for these earrings, I'm going to be using these hearts. I have a DIY showing how to make them. I'm going to link that DIY below and on the cards. You kind of need to watch that one after this. So this whole thing makes sense. I'm going to be making three styles of earrings, but these are see-through, painting the back of them with some white and black acrylic paint and this brush that I think is for like eyeshadow, but I just use it for arts and crafts because I find the shape of it real handy for these kinds of things. But for my lighter hearts i'm gonna be using white and for my darker hearts i'm gonna be using black painting first like the middle part and then just working my way to the edges i'm gonna be using this cardboard heart that i made on like that diy that i mentioned tracing 12 big hearts and four small hearts and then just cutting them after. I have a DIY or kind of like a hack showing you an easy way to get cardboard, painting some of them black and some of them white. This is pretty much going to be the background for my hearts. Also what I did for the cardboard hearts, I just cut them a bit smaller so you can't see the cardboard from the front. Assembling all the hearts together, gluing a couple of big hearts to the smaller hearts, placing the big ones upside down, and then just gluing the uh, pointy parts. Then gluing two of my big hearts, one on top of the other, placing my glue on like a piece of cardboard so I don't have excess glue, I just have what I need. And for these other hearts, I'm gonna be overlapping in the middle three hearts like this, so the glue is gonna be on top. Then I'm gonna be making some holes using my sharpie, marking where I need those holes to be then just going with my pin all the way through and then just uh, make that hole bigger this tool that i do have the diy on really easy to make and handy you can use this for this kind of thing and also a scribe tool if you decorate cookies if you have one of those like hole makers or just like a hole puncher feel free to use that instead so for this two big hearts and the tiny one on top gluing an ear posts on the back of it for all of them i'm going to be adding some gloss using my gloss by Sculpey and just using my tool to just help myself while i do this I'm going to be using some pliers, some cutters, some jump rings, and also ear wires. I have a kind of like a haul and a jewelry supply storage um, hack DIY kind of thing, showing you where I got this from. And also an eye pin with another loop on the other side. I do have an easy DIY showing you how to do this. The first ones I actually release open my jump rings with my pliers, place the two big hearts and the smallest hearts, and then just close the jump ring. For the second one, I'm going to be just turning the um, eye pin of the ear wire facing me with my pliers opening my jump ring placing my triple hearts in my ear wire closing my jump rings and that's it for this ones for the third ones doing this slightly different this is a really small and delicate ear wire and the loop is like facing where the hole is but in order to just place that i would need to add two um, jump rings and i don't want to do that cutting my eye pin in half with the loop facing me folding this top part of the eye pin um against me and then the other side or the tail rather towards me so i have this kind of shape I know there is like a lot of like stuff in the background and it's hard to tell what I'm doing. Placing the wire through that hole all the way through until the loop is like on the front facing me, gluing the back of this so it doesn't move. And this is what it looks like from the sides. So opening my eye pin, placing the ear wire and then just closing my eye pin. I do have the review for this earring stand by the way. I really like it. I think it's really handy. But it was clear at the beginning. If you want to know how I did it, check it out. But yeah guys, I love them all. Really easy to make pretty affordable, pretty lightweight. I think they are all vibrant, fun statements, but I think the black one is a bit more subtle because I used less hearts and because it's black. Patterns might change, but I wanted to show you the idea of it. Hopefully you like them too. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up, check out more accessories that I have on my channel and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!